Hey everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID mini-series. This week marks our 10th episode, and we're joined by another guest naturalist, Hilary Clark from the Chelan Douglas Land Trust. Enjoy! with the Chelan Douglas Land Trust and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about elderberry. Um, elderberry is this bush that you can see behind me. Um, our version of elderberry um, here in the western United States is um, blue elderberry, Sambucus nigra uh, subspecies cerulea and cerulea comes from the word for blue. Um, we'll talk about why it's called blue elderberry in a little bit. Um, so blue elderberry um, is one of my favorite plants around here um, because I love, I think the flowers are really beautiful and I also really love eating um, elderberry syrup and elderberry jam, but parts of the plant are, um, can cause nausea and vomiting and diarrhea and so it's always, in, if you're ever wanting to harvest a wild plant, it's always a good idea to know, um, to research and do a little bit of, of looking into the plant that you're gonna harvest. So the way you can tell that this is elderberry, um, well, in the winter, it starts. It's a deciduous shrub, and so it loses all of its leaves in the fall. Um, and in the winter, it's just bare branches. Um, and sometimes they can be a little bit disheveled looking. There's like lots of dead branches going all different ways. Um, and and then in the spring, when the leaves start coming in, they they um, grow in groups of three to nine leaves. And you can tell um, each one of these is a little leaflet. That's um, so it grows in a group of three to nine leaflets and they are lance shaped usually and so that means they've got this like long shape and then a point at the end and you can see um, the edges of the leaves are serrated so they have little teeth um, and then in May and June it starts to flower and so that's when we get these um, flowers so they grow um, in an inflorescence which is a whole bunch of little flowers all growing at once um, and they sort of branch out from the center um, and each one of these little flowers has five petals and so that's one of the ways you can tell that it's an elderberry plant um, and then in the fall um, it's well right after it flowers it starts to form berries and um, the berries start out green and then they turn red and then black and then um, they get a little bit of whitish powder on them and so that's how um, you can tell that they're ripe. that whitish powder makes them look blue um, and so that's why they're called blue elderberry and um, usually when they get ripe, um, the stems of the flowers also turn a little bit red. That's how I know that they're ripe. Um, so the berries are really important um, for local wildlife and for birds. Um, birds really like to eat the berries. And they can also be really good food for humans too. Um, but if you ever want to eat them, um, the berries have to be absolutely ripe and um, you have to cook them for at least 30 minutes before eating them or else they might cause some stomach upset. Um, as always, it's a good idea to look up, um, to do your own research into any plants that you want to harvest in the wild and learn about ethical harvesting as well. Thanks, Hillary, for that great up-close look at blue elderberry. Head out, try and see if you can find this plant flowering or the berries just starting to form. And later in the summer and into fall, be on the lookout for those black berries with the white powder.